Hello, everybody. So it is hopefully Monday, February 25th. Uh, yeah, 25th. So um, I am entering a game jam this week. And um, this is probably going to go on Monday. I've been spending a lot of the month, or the times I set aside for game development to uh, work on art, dialogue, and stuff. I really haven't gotten that far, to be honest. But I'm about to go through all the Unity tutorials. <laughs> There are some of them that don't require code and stuff, but I think those are probably the most important ones because I do know how to code and uh, I think Unity's UI is what I'm going to most get oriented with. Um, so this is, I don't know, this is the only thing I got for video today. I was going to make it for Thursday, but I also don't have an idea for Monday. And lastly, of course, the inevitable sorry for audio quality. Nothing I can do about it, unfortunately. I keep looking at that kid. Nothing I can do about it, unfortunately. <laughs> I've actually been spending a lot of time working on the Townie plugin for Oink as well which is not Unity uh, and not related to game, but I need to know how to use Unity for this game jam because I really want to participate in game jam. Anyway, <laughs> it's taking so long. Unity, why? Is this it? Is this gonna be it? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Took a while. The window stayed the same size, so it's pretty good. Okay, anyway, game objects and components. Oh, look at that. It's going to need a collision object, isn't it? Oh, wow, it exited play so quickly. Perfect, just as I come to sit back down, we're ready to go. <laughs> well, I will leave this world behind. Prefabs are the secret sauce behind all Unity games. The secret sauce. Ramp up your knowledge and escape another laser death trap. And now we wait five minutes for the loading. It's gonna get me to jump on the red button and then it's gonna move the arm forward. Like, oh, you don't have a pushable box. Like, thank you, I know. Oh no, I don't have a pushable box, what am I, ever am I to do? Can I perhaps add a pushable box prefab to the list? Because the game I'm going to do this week, I want to do in 2D. Although if you're making really simple 3D assets, would probably be smart. The only thing that I'm a little hesitant on about this whole game jam is like, I feel bad because it, you know, it kind of lists like, it says like, oh, we'll, we'll give you some great feedback. And I was like, this is my first game. I guess it'll be good, like, to get feedback, but it just feels like, like, if the feedback, I won't be able to make the most of the feedback, I guess, uh, if that makes any sense. <laughs> but hey, I, I'll try. I don't know how my timing is going to go, but we'll see. You know, this is, this is just, <laughs> this is just thoughts of market at this point. At one point, I want to work into, uh, C++. Uh, I'm doing C right now in a, in a class in school uh, and moved to Unreal Engine. I just feel like it'd be a bit more geared towards what I want. But like, a game in C isn't bad. Stardew Valley was made in C. Unity runs in C. It's a great place to start nonetheless. I don't know. Once, I'm, once I feel comfortable with C, I think I'll go to CPP. Uh, C++. But I don't know what March I'm going to probably focus on with the web design stuff. Although tanning is a big important thing right now. So that's taking a bunch of time. This should not be taking half an hour. <gasps> it launched. We're good. <laughs> We're in the clear. <laughs> so the screen go white. Yes. Okay. Over an hour of recordings, and I've got maybe five, six minutes of me talking. Come on, tutorial window, where are you at? <laughs> oh, what is this? Just errors on errors. Why though? As you can see in the bottom left, it's still giving me this this thing, and if I click it, 
87 warnings and 21 errors pop up. If I go to scene, there's nothing there. If I hit play, all compiler errors have to be fixed. I looked up some videos and it was kind of just like, oh yeah, you know, just run it. I tried updating Unity, but um, to no avail. This is the assets folder, is it not? I started downloading the 2D and 3D game kits at like three and it's currently 5.30. Okay, that website just says to completely reinstall Unity, which is probably what I'll have to do. I hate getting salty over small things like this. It's just like, come on. I, of all things to not work, uh, I reinstalled Unity, just deleted like all the files that mentioned Unity on my computer, um, and I guess it was fine. <laughs> um, this, is, this is the code for the, the ball game or one of the scripts. Uh, so just kind of, I was just experimenting with it a little bit, um, pretty much. You know, it's, it's pretty easy. These variables are edited within, um, they're used in here, I gather. And then they're edited within the editor, the Unity itself. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and try again with the 2D game kit uh, and hope that works. It should, there's a readme. I'm gonna read the readme because it wants to be read. There's nothing in the readme, Never mind. Should probably look at the manual. That would probably be a good idea. Okay, there should be a kit tools button. <gasps> it's actually there this time. Create new scene. <gasps> oh, the pop-ups aren't showing up. This is this is so sad. Maybe I can throw it in here. Yes. Haha. <laughs> okay. Okay, so if I hit play, real simply hit play. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yo, sick. Okay. Don't, the file over here is called don't destroy on load. <laughs> okay, so I can't move. Nothing to, nothing to move. Oh, I can squat. I can jump. Oh, I can move. It just wasn't loading. Hey, hey, look at that. I'll do the 2D game kit off camera and then I'll record or like time lapse me working on like a, a mini miniature game or something. The game jam starts Saturday, so I'll try to do that on Friday. I just make some maybe 3D assets and some basic 2D assets um, and see how it goes. I do want to make a platformer. I've got a mechanic in mind, but we'll have to see if it's at the topic. Anyway, um, so yeah, on to that time lapse, maybe some more talking, and then uh, the game jam video will be next. So, all right. <laughs> so, um,. I sat down this morning and uh, I got up around, so I got up around 7.30 this morning. It is the next day, by the way, uh, Friday the 22nd, the release day of Hatch Green Dragon 3, but I've already seen it, so I'm not gonna get out and see it today. But anyway, um, I just sat down and started working on Townie for a while. <laughs> um, I, 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 so I, this is region production. I'm gonna blur the left because I don't want people to see the, the features and stuff if you're an Oinker and you're watching this. This is an app called Paymo that I've been using recently for editing and now for, region for the plugin itself um really i'm just doing what trello does at the moment <laughs> um but this is cool because you can log time entries um so you can click here and then um, i'll add an hour um that i spend on oink county on region production and you can start a timer too which is quite cool um but you know this is what's done so far i have pretty much all the skeleton done so these steps should take me I wrote plots that should say claims. Anyway, uh, on on to on to more Unity stuff. I just wanted to share the fact that I have been productive so far. <laughs> all right, so I'm transitioning over. I'm done with Tony. The claim thing is all set up. I can boom exit. This is why second monitors are so useful. Stop the server. Save everything. Exit the stuff with the files and then exit the actual file window. Lack of time, looking good. So I also have my discrete homework to do today and an essay I have to work on for Monday that I will work on. Um, so the game jam, I'm gonna have to spend just most of the time thinking for Sunday. Um, like I'm not gonna get into too much code, maybe draw out some ideas uh, for Saturday and Sunday, I should say. And yeah, so the essay is due Monday uh, and then this uh, homework's due today. Friday, I stopped by the Washington Career Center for something. Um, wow, I'm just like kind of blurred. I have not eaten yet. It is almost 11, so I'm gonna go do that. And then I will work on Unity and find a time to go to Washington today. <laughs>
Good thing I've already seen the third Hatter Trainer Dragon. I do not have time for that today. <laughs> All right, so it is 10.30, um, and I'm going to go to bed pretty soon. I'm going to do Monday. I've been just binging Unity videos. I've got a really good understanding, at least I feel like, because I feel like a sponge, <laughs> um, of how the 2D assets and stuff work. Um, and I'm just watching some videos on scripting, because that's the thing that, uh, you know, learning how each variable can be used in the editor. That's the, going to be the key thing. But anyway, I'm feeling pretty good. I have not created anything. Uh, I worked on Tiny today and then relaxed for a little while. Um, d and It was a busy day. Um, but, you know, Tiny had its morning session. Anyway, on to some more videos. And I think that's going to be it for this video. So thank you for watching. Uh, I hope to, that you tune in next week um, for the video of me making the actual game. Sorry yet again for bad lighting. Uh, anyway, thanks again for watching. Have a good one, and as always, don't forget to stay awesome.